All right. Let's do this for real. That was a terrible run anyway. Yo, we got it. Honestly, is there anything better than frame-perfect swag that doesn't cost you time if you miss it? Yeah, Nefits, I really like this game. I've been considering getting Wonder Boy and Monster World as well. Since it is also on Genesis, and uh, presently I own a Genesis and exactly one game for it. Interestingly, if I were to get the uh, US release of Wonder Boy and Monster World, the fact that instead of just turning my uh, Model 1 Genesis into a Japanese Mega Drive, uh, the fact that I left a switch to uh, go back and forth will be, will be useful. Because presently, the switch is just permanently in Japanese region. Exactly what we wanted to have happen. 312 though. 312 isn't a terrible time. Yo, Mario Master, thank you for the host. Gosh, that was terrible. That's what I get for trying to steal the strats from the world record bot. I think I had to run first for that.
Come on. I got lucky. I was supposed to get hit there. <sighs> got it. Didn't deserve it. Got it. Yo, Nymphius, how's it going? Screw this up. Could have been worse. I mean, Nymphius, I... I have a tough time uh, casting aspersions on Australians sleeping during a normal time for Australians to sleep. Hey, Pip Johnson, how's it going? Hey, that's my first ever sub-8. Nice. That, that a celebratory butt wiggle is the only way to celebrate murdering something. I was comparing my VOD to uh, the world record, and I can say with absolute certainty that Japanese Genesis text is much faster than the text on the PlayStation re-release, the English text. Well, the important thing is that you don't only do a butt wiggle right after committing murder. If butt wiggling is just your your celebration technique for anything, well, then you're Scott you're gonna get away scot-free. It's called plausible deniability. That's what you need. Oh, that's fair. If if you only celebrate when you murder people, then yeah, yeah, that might that might that might cause a problem. Yeah. 
Note to self, definitely don't be anywhere near Dawson Paler whenever Dawson Paler is celebrating. Probably good just to avoid being implicated, I think. Uh, Mario Master, yeah, I, I remember. I mean, I don't remember the name of the person, but... I remember the guy who was getting really, really upset about him not calling Mario Maker Super Mario Maker. That's... that's harsh. I'll have you know that right now I am the number one Monster World 4 streamer on Speedruns Live. Now he's trolling Moni on Discord. That's... You know, I feel like this is just a, a fantastic individual who... who's clearly figured out what, what he's doing with his life. good. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Nymphius. I'm glad that I'm a good Let's Player. This is a pretty good Hendera Volcano so far. I mean, I said that, so now I'm going to beef it really, really bad. But so far, it's been pretty okay.
just got that fresh off of Lee's auto host. Of what I wanted to have happen. Oh, we got the cycle. That wasn't great. All right, boss time. That was a really bad boss fight. Nymphius, this game is so fun. It is 100% worth playing through casually. Hoth and I both really, really love the game when we did a blind race of it. The movement feels great. It pushes back against you a little bit when, uh, when you try and go fast, and that's one of my favorite things about a speed game. But just... Just in terms of the gameplay, it's so, so fun. Interesting direction for you to fly there, Peppy. Good on you for trying. Right, this is a... This is an astoundingly good run, especially given that this is my first run of the day. the end of the room. That room's RNG, so I can't be upset about losing time there. Yeah, no kidding. I call Peppy over, and Peppy just flies directly to hell. Tendencies like that, Peppy's gonna get himself killed. Thank you. 
mad. Okay, well that room did not go smooth. I, I think that the sound is peppy. I'm actually not sure. Oh, just, just let me down. I'm gonna get out of your hair right now, I promise. Every time. Every time. All right, well, that's a new one. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the lava fax meme. That's fair. I feel like I earned that lava fax. Uh, Nymphius, no. Twitch, Twitch didn't uh, work out handling that. I'm just gonna handle it myself. But yeah, so any and all revenue from Twitch is going to go uh, directly to the um, the extra life donation that's linked in my account in my stream info. I'm going to be matching uh, subscriber revenue up to $200. Maybe more, but at least up to $200.
Yeah, the Water Temple music's super good. This is going to be the one. We're going to get Bucket Skip this time. How's it going? That's perfect. Please let me up. Please let me... I'm mad. Well, the good news is that I'm about to see a heart-bending machine. The bad news is that I'm about to need to use a heart-bending machine. No, no, the mini boss gives you a hard refill. I'll just use that. That was indeed a tentacle high five. Yo, we got Bucket Skip. Oh, this feels good. That's a huge time save. Yo, is that a high five rate? That looks like a high five raid to me. Have you been working on your shell jump? I have not been working on my shell jump. Here's the thing, if I were to practice a shell jump, then that would make my good friend high five to safety look that much less impressive. And I think we all know that high five to safety needs to be one of the most impressive people on Twitch. Welcome everybody from High Five Stream. Uh, we are on pretty decent PB pace right now, so. Thank you. There we go. This is indeed not Mario. You are you're not wrong. This is Monster World 4, which was a Japan-only release for the, uh, well, in Japan, the Mega Drive, but what most of you, I think, are going to know as the Sega Genesis.
timing's gonna be weird. I don't deserve this, but it worked. Yeah, this game has pretty cool mechanics. Oh, jeez. What a bad boss fight. That's an interesting uh, stylistic comparison to draw. Most people tend to say that this reminds them a lot of Shantae, which is not a huge surprise because this game, or Shantae listed this game as one of its primary uh, suppose, uh, inspirations. That's not good. kind of see. I mean, Psygnosis did a bunch of stuff for the Genesis, so it's not a not a huge surprise to hear that uh, that art-wise, and especially music-wise, this game would remind some of Lemmings. Have Sarah, but all in all, not a terrible water temple. Oh, don't worry, Peppy's getting getting some emotes. was a really bad boss fight. I don't think we lost too much time to it, but... Yeah, it's the FM synthesis that, that you're hearing that reminds you of that. Oh, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Yeah, I mostly play older games. I think it's it's fair to to refer to me as a retro speedrunner. The only modern game that I really speedrun is uh, the remake of Wonder Boy 3, which you could still argue is basically just an older game, but it's been reskinned. Hey, Starscream, how are you doing? Menuing. 
Oh yeah, I guess I guess Shantae is not really retro. Stylistically, it's very retro though. But you're completely correct. I hadn't even thought about Shantae as a non-retro title. not doing the hard strat here. It's not needed to PB. Mario Master, thanks for hanging out. This has been really good so far. Super clean. I mean, I'm still losing 45 seconds to world record in this temple, but... That's bad. Just go, just go! Shit! Okay. Oh, gosh. We're good. Yeah, Peppy is weird. Peppy is... I mean, in terms of species, Peppy is just cute, I guess. is from Monsanto. Oh, that's... I should probably 
to grab more than that. I'm going to get the health refill, but the health refill uh, pauses per heart that you get. Way too slow. Nice. Alright, let's see if I can remember this now. Unnecessary time loss there. Oh well. Yo, Eon. Thank you very much for the good luck. So far, this is a pretty okay run. skipped the, the exact thing that I needed to pick up. I'm not sure. I don't think that's it. No, it's in this room. <laughs> it's super close to the right and it's easy to get mixed up.
Uh, Mr. Jennings, this is, uh... This is probably where I spent a good quarter of my time in my blind playthrough. This specific pyramid. Anima 64, how's it going? But yeah, so the mechanic here is that you're supposed to use Peppy to uh, to locate those hidden doors. But you don't have to have Peppy locate the hidden doors for you to know where they are. So you can just go into them. mad. I'm super mad. That's okay. This is where we're going to lose all our time anyway. Because language is really, really hard. Translated that one. Read that is is the sun smaller than the moon? It's actually is the sun bigger than the moon, which the sun most certainly is. Well, we're losing time. Bummer. Ah, that was a bummer. Uh, I'm doing well, even though I don't know what a suse is. Let's try one more time. Yeah. There's there's two questions that start with those characters, and one of them is yes and one of them is no. It's asking questions about the genie. No. That's asking if there's not writing on the genie's lamp, and there is in fact not. Language is hard. Do I have any gold bars right now? Which I don't. my PB, I got this first shot, so this is bad. There we go. Oh my god. That's awful. That's so bad. Language is hard. Is sweetheart. Well, that is incredibly kind of you. I'm still doing quite well, and I hope you are as well. Yeah, language is two minutes hard. 
What's really funny is I was just making a uh, an English cheat sheet for for off. So it's super embarrassing that I did that poorly there. Trencher, thank you very much for the host. From everybody from Trencher's stream. Yo, JT, thank you for the good luck. I was on a really, really good pace, and now, now I need the good luck. Oh my gosh. I'm screwing up the easy infinite flights. This is gonna really suck when I have to do the hard one. So that speed is perfect to get that dude to, uh, that's fair. But yeah, that speed is perfect to get that dude to just, long way. Just kind of walk backwards until he falls off the edge so that you can kill him. It's pretty great. All right, well, I'm definitely hitting the heart machine. Oh, that's weird, Trent. I heard from Toucan that you're uh, you're working on Risky's Revenge again. How's that going? Nobody is good at those glitches. I mean, it's it's 100% frame perfect BS. Fireball double jump is a double frame perfect trick. Negashante quick kill is a frame perfect trick. Like there's It 
It's tough, dude. We're in the red, though. That's a bummer. Alright. First try tower climb. That's what we need. Not going the wrong way. That's probably also something that we need. Yeah, I mean, it's not two frames immediately one after the other, but yes, it is. To get the, the trick to work, it is a frame-perfect uh, trick to get the wall jump pixel, basically. And then it is a frame-perfect trick to get the jump off of the wall jump pixel. Fireball double jump is really rough. If it weren't for Fireball Double Jump, honestly, the two races that JT and I did at uh, SGDQ would have been much closer. I didn't, I didn't want to get damage boosted up there, but that's fine. Yeah, no, it's, it's not two immediately contiguous frames. It's just two frame-perfect tricks that you have to do in one, in one shot. Oh my gosh, let me hit you. Unfortunately, we're not in range of getting one shot by the queen during the next fight, so we lose a little bit of time there versus my PB, but that's fine. Alright, let's one shot this. Except that I'm going to screw up the easy jumps now. Still save time overall. So this was actually a, um, this was a wrong warp. Hey, that might have done enough damage to put me in one shot range. Cool. Nope. Come on, there we go. One heart away from being one shot. What a bummer. <laughs> 8 bit. Um, there was uh, Idol Factory or whatever I did for a while. Idol games that make it so that you can optimize them are really dangerous for me.
Yeah, so the game copes really, really poorly with having Peppy be dead, it turns out. Or having Peppy not be dead when you finish getting bodied by the queen. Uh, so this route uses a, an item called the debug armor, which lets you arbitrarily set Peppy's level. And uh, that means that the story event wherein you find out that Peppy is, in fact, not dead is um, a little bit glitchy. Well, don't worry, Peppy's not dead. I mean, spoilers, but Peppy's not dead. Rats always get me. Bad room. Oh, that's really bad. Here, just let me go. Yeah, I I get you, I get you ate that. Gonna be real honest, this is uh, not my best underground section ever. Right, 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 right. This is this is this part. Those wizards are the worst. That's fine. Also fine. I'm gonna have to use my potion. I'm gonna have to use my potion before. Oh, Please drop a green herb. It's not what I asked for. Is it boss time?
Well, we got to the boss before we used the elixir, but we're gonna have to use the elixir, and that sucks. What are we doing? We've got two minutes to win. It's not entirely impossible, but this could PB still. No, hit me. Oh, oh, I'm mad. Thank you. Almost there. One more. There we go. Nine second PD, why not? Yo, CT. No, this game is super fun. You should definitely try it out, CT. Credits play out, then I'm gonna go again. Yeah, I can see the similarity for sure. Um, the important difference in this case is the sound chip, though. Like the the Super Nintendo and the Genesis sound chip, especially the Model One Genesis when they used the actual Yamaha um, FM synthesis sound chip. They're, they're pretty distinctive. To my ear, the bass sounds better out of a Genesis, and the everything else sounds better out of a Super Nintendo sound chip. Yo, 8-Bit Derp, I miss that you had given me a host. Thank you very much for that. pyramid split. That is such a... Right, before we we had the kanji quiz, we're two minutes and eight seconds ahead, so it's, that's a bummer. It's fine. That just means that we have to not suck up to the pyramids, and then we have to not suck during the pyramids. And that'll 
That'll probably help. Uh, I mean, Dragonlord, it's, it's clearly not. It, it, uh, it cost me two minutes, but there's plenty of, plenty of opportunity to, to improve everywhere, basically. So, the Sphinx is not yet the decider of whether or not I PB. And I'm getting better at the Sphinx. Like, this one was bad, but, but my average Sphinx is not terrible so far. Yeah, don't suck is basically what I'm saying. That's that's my goal. My baseline goal is play the video game and maybe don't suck. 